hi guys today is gonna be kind of a special video because today i'm gonna make a fourth of july model it's the buffalo cup you could actually put way more stuff in there than the last time i made something this could actually fit pencils it might even fit a buffalo wing in here look at that it's really big depends what paper if you make it a six inch square might not fit but 10 and square look at how big that pocket is and i recommend using like orange or red paper for this it doesn't really have a mouth that could be kind of a mouth but you could try and make one at the end maybe just like yeah whatever but yeah and then it could also be kind of a boomerang Whoa. but it doesn't come back to you not really a boomerang doesn't fly too well but there, you can see it has the eyes and everything. And it's made out of a 10 inch orange paper. It can't really be a pusher too, way too big. It needs to be way smaller. And yes, yeah, we have a water bomb base and it's a pretty easy model. So I'm gonna get my 10 inch. And also, the reason I didn't post yesterday because I was doing part one of the origami flash hair hat. You see that? That's 40 minutes actually 30 minutes worth of folds but i had to pause a lot so it's 40 minutes of time look at all those folds and then next part is just drawing on it and stuff but here's what i'm gonna make is the buffalo cup see it has like ears and everything eyes so yeah i'm gonna get it right, i'm gonna get some paper real quick So I got my 10 inch, now I'm gonna use a red paper. I'm excited to make another one of these. Okay. Still couldn't find Mr. Disco. Um, let's see what I can use to hold. Cup maybe. So I'm gonna need to find something that can hold it. This thing's really holding it. Or actually... Uh, there we go. Okay. First, what you're going to want to do is fold diagonally in half. Like that. And then fold diagonally in half the other direction. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Okay. Then fold upwards and make every fold as even as possible. And then flip over and fold up. I was going to make an origami video yesterday, but I forgot how to make it. Um the model it was like a kind of a flasher thing but i forgot how to make it okay so now you should have the triangle base you could open it up and fold it to there and then you're gonna wanna fold these two to the middle like that then repeat Make sure all the folds are even. And then flip over, do the same thing to the other side. If you see any white lines, even it out a bit. And then fold there again, evenly. And then what you're gonna wanna do is unfold both sides actually yeah unfold both sides and then fold up on just this side though and then fold up again i meant like on the side not doing it on the back unless you want eyes on both it doesn't really work with eyes on both but, uh, lift up the pocket Open up the pocket and 
wash down. Then open up the pocket and squash down. Lift the pocket up. Lift the pocket up. Back. And fold down a triangle. Down a triangle. So now you have like robotic face kind of thing. Then we want to do actually if you want to repeat it you can and then you're probably just going to want to flip over to this side and then what you're going to want to do actually is fold there like that and fold there like that lift up and you might have a little thing there so just Squash it. Lift it up. Pretty big. The bigger, the more big of that crease. Doesn't really matter. You just need eyes. So. Oh, well. Make sure your eyes are really creased on there. And flip over. And then that's practically your buffalo eyes. And then what you're going to want to do is make a crease right there. So just fold and then just crease that middle. And then pop it up, pinch on that crease, and fold there. This is an optional thing if you want there your thing to be smaller. But that's kind of optional if you want it. But I, I do recommend doing it. And also, you could try and round the eyes a bit by folding the triangle in. But it's pretty hard to do that. It would look something like... On, like on this side, like that. Kind of round it up. And since I already did it to one eye, I'm going to try and do it to the other eye. It's pretty small. So you can't fold the triangle all the way. Because then it will be like no eye ball inside there. and then what you're going to do to open it up easier is lift up the two pockets a little bit fold up the triangle and then fold them in like that sort of thing and make sure your eyes really stay on there so crease everything about it while keeping the eyeball still so it doesn't start lifting up and then with the pocket, open the pocket up. Don't open it up all the way, just open the pocket up halfway. Like that. And it can't stay still, so you're gonna have to hold it kinda like that. And it can fit big stuff like a whole entire cup. Yeah, <laughs> look at the eyes, so cool clumsy now. Oh, you can fit an entire cup. It, it probably can't fit this, but I'd be able to fit a whole salt shaker. Oh, well, you're going to have to hold it from the bottom just to do that. Oh, and it can fit anything you want it to that you know it won't break. And also, those are eyebrows, practically. Tell me if these look a little different. I don't think they look different, but yeah, tell me if they look a little different. Except the color changing. The only difference is the eyeballs are not rounded up on this, so I could just run the eyeball up. Actually, never mind. Let's just keep it. And then also... Yeah, that's practically it. The eyebrows are a little smaller on the orange one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hit the screen. You could fit like a hundred of these in there. Boing. You have to put them like this way though, kind of curved. Um, but that's all I have for today of the buffalo. And bye. <laughs>